Hey, hey, Similo here, and in this video, I'm going to do my best to show you how to set up your moving averages. Moving averages are critical for you um, to know when to enter a trade and when to exit a trade. You're only profitable when you can maximize your entries and your exits. So, um, this is Think or Swim. The platform is called Think or Swim. And um, you would need to download it onto your desktop. Now, this is my downloaded version. And once you're in Think or Swim, once you've set up your account, you want to click on Charts. And as soon as you click on Charts, it'll allow you to call up your underlying stock it's called the underlying because with options we're not actually trading the stock we're trading contracts that are based on the stock so the stock itself in this case facebook is called the underlying okay that's the very first thing here of course we have our candlesticks so each candlestick here represents up here tells you the, the time frame in which this chart has been um, put together it's a five minute time frame so every single candlestick here represents five minutes of the price movement of facebook so we're going to go to let me think well it's okay you know the five minute the five minute time frame is okay uh, for now because um really i just want to show you how to set up your moving averages so the very first thing you're going to do to set it up is you're going to click on study. And then we're going to click on add study. And after, well, you kind of highlight it and then you move to moving averages. You highlight it again and then you move to, let's start again, add studies, moving averages, move it to moving average exponential you could use a moving average exponential or the simple moving average you gotta kind of read up on them to know the difference and see which one best suits your trading style okay so once we've done that you can see it's giving us this red line and basically this is a moving average we're going to right click on it and there it says edit study moving average exponential and what it's it allows us to do is to customize the uh, chart properties or the um, yeah the moving average properties here they've given us a 10 day and for the 10 day generally you know you want to kind of try and be as consistent um, with like the standards out there I mean any color goes but I have uh, been using the yellow for the 10 day moving average and here you could draw it as a line which is how it's set up as a kind of curved line or you could decide to draw it with any one of these particular symbols which I'm not crazy about so I'll stick with this curved line you can um, what else the width I'm not sure what this style does oh yeah either uh, a continuous line or a, a discontinuous line a broken up line I stick with the continuous line the width I like it a little fatter than the one if we put it on the one width of one this line here is a little thinner I like mine a little chunky and then the color you set it up here right now it's defaulted to this kind of orangey color reddish orangey color but I'm gonna set it to yellow and okay so now we have our yellow 10 day moving average so what it represents is the average of the last 10 days of uh, price action so it, it kind of smooths out this movement this kind of candlestick movement of ups and downs and it kind of helps you to see the way the, the the movement has been over the past 10 days now we want to do this again because we also want the five day moving average so we're going to click on studies again 
add study highlight moving average highlight and move to moving average exponential or if you want to do the um, down here the simple moving average is down here just like it depends on your preference you gotta read up on these terms I mean you really have to be committed to educating yourself because trading stocks is pretty elementary you buy low you sell high trading options is definitely not elementary you need time to study options otherwise the um, general statistic out there is 90% of options traders um, burn out the, their accounts basically you know they don't come back <laughs> you know they start trading with whatever it is they start trading and they lose it all and that's it and why do they lose it all well they're not really that educated on what they're supposed to be doing or not doing and so learning to trade profitably is something you have to be committed to okay so now we have two moving averages so let's right click and edit highlight edit and it gives us the two moving averages and they're both 10 days so we want to change one of the 10 days to a five day moving average so we'll click on it move that down to five we want that color to change I tend to lean towards aqua and once you've done that okay something's happened with the maybe I didn't save the 10 day maybe I didn't save the yellow save default okay so that gives me my aqua which is my five day moving average and the um, yellow which is my 10 day moving average now what this is, is it shows you the black area shows you 9 to 4.30 trading, the, the, basically the trading day. I live on the east coast of the uh, United States, so my trading hours are 9.30 to 4. Depending on where you live, your trading hours will be different. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going to highlight one of these, let me think this one. Oh yes, so the black shows you the daytime trading and the gray area basically shows you pre-hour trading and like pre-market trading and after hours trading. So let's highlight a day trade. Okay, so in one day period, you can see from 9.30 down here all the way to 4 p.m. You can see that. Yeah, you can see the price action on Facebook up down up down up down now right here you can see the blue line which is a five-day moving average has crossed down below the yellow line which is the 10-day moving average when that happens that's typically called a death cross let's see if I can highlight that so this death cross here what it does is what it indicates to you is that the price action is is coming down so with the red candlesticks the closing price is at the bottom so the price opens up here and closes down here that makes the candlestick red unlike with the green candlestick the opening price is down here and the closing price is up here so of course this is all happening on a five minute time time frame um, and as I said before, these candlesticks each represent five minutes. So at the start of the five minute counter for the green, it opens down here, it closes up here. The next five minutes, it opens up here and it closes down here. Well, it opens up here. No, it doesn't open up here. It opens here, it rises up there, it goes down there, and then it closes down at the bottom. So the top and the bottom of the candlestick indicates the opening and closing price now when the blue line crosses below the 10 line then you can see that indicates that the price action is going down so the price goes down for the next 5 10 15 minutes okay so if you're selling puts you sell puts sorry what if you're buying puts 
you buy puts when you believe the price of your underlying is going down. So you would buy once this crosses crosses down, once the blue crosses down below the yellow, you would buy and you would wait it out generally until there's a cross back up. You can see there's an attempt to cross back up here. So this would be a pretty decent area to um, sell. Again, over here, we see that the blue line is crossing over the yellow line and it's crossing over upwards. And this is called a golden cross. And this is a good sign that the price action of your underlying is going up. Now, it's not 100% accurate, but I would say 8.5 8 to 8.5 out of 10 times, it will do just that. So in this case, there is a crossing up. And so the price opens here, closes right up at the top of this green candlestick. Okay. And the fact that it crosses over, the blue crosses over the yellow should indicate that the price action is going up. But what happens, the price action comes down momentarily for 15 minutes, but ultimately heads up. So I think right there it's showing you that it's a good indication when there's a golden cross. And I'm going to annotate this. So right here we have that point where the blue line, which is our five day moving average, is crossing over the green line. Now let's look for another instant. We see it over here. We see the golden cross again where the blue line, the five day, has crossed over the yellow line. And then what happens over the next 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes, the price of the underlying goes up pretty much. It closes here, it goes down momentarily, and then it basically heads up. So this would be a good point at which to buy calls. And of course, you know, you buy calls when you're sure that the price of your underlying is going up. And this is how you make money trading options so this is one of my favorite indicators using the five-day moving average and the 10-day moving average to help me better enter my trades and exit my trades now there are quite a lot of indicators out there and you really have to study up on them to know which ones you want to use you know to build your trading strategy Again, the failure rate in option trading is very super high. And that's basically because there's just a lot to learn. I hope this has helped you set up your moving averages on Think or Swim. And if you haven't already, I would appreciate a subscribe to my channel and hit the bell as well. That will alert you to my new videos. Um, like, comment and Hoping everything goes well with you as you delve into this world of option trading and I will meet you on the next video.